This is a Ecclesiastes. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 14. There was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and, be, and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to live in sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. Okay. Now, I want to call this lesson the Apostles and the Ninja Turtles. All right. Now, hold on. Let me uh, look that up. Okay. Now, this was a cartoon that came out when I was a child. And I really liked it. This cartoon, um, this is this uh, the Ninja Turtles cartoon. Okay, no, they also had a lot of you know action figures and comic books and stuff like that. You know, all right. But uh, I want to you know go into the spiritual aspect of um, the Ninja Turtles. Um, and just something that uh, that was, um, how can I say, uh, um, that basically stood out to me through the spirit, okay? Because each one of these characters have their own personalities, all right? And um, just the whole concept of these characters through the spirit reminded me of the apostles, Okay. Now, I'm not doing this lesson to be funny or facetious or anything like that. You know, um, this is something that really came to me through the spirit. And the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahshai for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai giving us such great leaders, man. Such selfless leaders, man. That's why I read the scripture that I read, man, about that poor wise man that saved the city. All right? Because, um, hold on, I, I really like this one picture so i'm gonna screenshot that one but um let me get another scripture this is zephaniah <clears throat> 3 and 12 i will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people and they shall trust in the name of yahweh right and uh <clears throat> our leaders here are at great millstone you know we have other camps that call us bums because we're lowly men all right and the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, those are very humble men, man. They live very simple lives, you know. And um, when you look at the Ninja Turtles, they lived under the city. Um, let me, I want to get that picture of the Ninja Turtles um, or any picture of them just to have it up. They lived underneath the city, man. They were the offscurring, as the scripture says, man. We are the offscurring. Matter of fact, let me get that. This is 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that Yahweh have set forth us the apostles last, right? And we, you know, we we give the apostles a great millstone that title, even though they will tell you that we're all apostles because we all been spiritually sent out with the same message, right? You know, but we give them that title because, you know, that's just what we do, you know, through the spirit. As it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, we are despised. Yeah, we're a spectacle, man. You know, <laughs> Hey, when you see, like, when you watch the Ninja Turtle movies, man, when people actually saw the Ninja Turtle, they were like, what the fuck? They, they, they're like, what the fuck am I looking at, man? And that's how the world looks at us. You know, the apostles, the elders on down, man, they really don't get what they're looking at, man. We're strange to these people. We're a spectacle. 
you know, here it is. You can have a guy in a dress and some high heels with a damn mohawk and tattoos that can bench press a million pounds, but the world looks at him like he's normal. But us, you know, the apostles on elders on down, we're looked at as something strange, man. All right. You know, you know, and we're despised, right? It says, even unto this present hour, we both hunger. Right. Cause, and then, uh, you know, you know, just to go back to the Ninja Turtles, they they lived in a sewer, man. They lived underneath the city and 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 they were they, and that's why I read the scripture about that poor wise man that saved the city because these were heroes. All right. The whole time the city didn't know that these people were saving their ass from being destroyed, man. <laughs> you know, you had all these different characters and shit that wanted to destroy the whole fucking city and the world. And you had the Ninja Turtles stand up. And I'm thinking like, as scripture says, who shall rise up for me against the evildoers, man? And, 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 and they didn't get any credit for it right then and there. You know what I mean? You know, they did it because that's who they were. It says, even unto this present hour, we both hunger, right? And thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place, you know? <laughs> You know, and the Ninja Turtles, they lived in the sewer, man. They were, they were, uh, in a, they were, uh, uh, um, in, in a, a, a lowest level as you could possibly be, man. Like, you know, as far as, um, their living situation, you know, and labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. And, 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 and we watch, you know, we're watching our apostles get slandered, man. But the whole time they're doing the greatest work on earth, man. They're saving the city, man. You know, Jerusalem is the people before it's a place, man. These are the saviors, man. Saviors shall come up on Mount Zion, as the scripture says, man. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscoring of all things unto this day. So we're looked down upon as the filth of the world, man. You know, all right. But these men, they're the saviors. The scripture says you are more than conquerors, man. You know, you're, you're more than conquerors, man. You know, <laughs> you know, and it's just, a, you know, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, this is uh, just a spiritual aspect, you know, of this, you know, that, that I wanted to go into, you know, through the spirit, man. You know, <laughs> you know, well, let me go back to this. Uh, I was going to go back to the Ninja Turtles, you know, and how they reminded me spiritually, you know, of the apostles, you know, uh, of Great Millstone, man, you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, you have the leader, which is uh, uh, Leonardo. He's the guy with the... Um, with the blue bandana, you know, and Leonardo, the name Leo uh, goes into a lion, you know, and he's the leader, you know, and, uh, you know, he has the mentality of a lion, man, you know, and it reminds me, you know, he reminds the, the character personally to me, it reminds me of Apostle Taha, man. Now, I remember years ago when, uh, you know, Apostle Taha, he was like, man, this should be a, a, a a camp on every corner, man. It's like he gave a roar, man. It was like a lion's roar, man, and it, it, it's like it reverberated, man. And it, and then, man, <laughs> you know, you know, it was like a spiritual call to arms, man. You know, and that character, you know, he reminds me of uh, Apostle Tahar, man. You know, <laughs> you know, he's the he's the leader, you know. He has that 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 um leader uh spirit, right? And then after that you have uh Donatello, which is the one with the purple bandana. And 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 he reminds me of uh Apostle Gabar, you know, because he's uh the you know the the uh, uh you know uh um Donatello 
he he's the intellectual you know he's the he's the guy who is the you know the intellectual uh, of the whole um crew so to speak man you know and it, it remind he reminds me of apostle gabar man you know you know apostle gabar he he you know he, uh, he goes into um words a lot you know he you know i've learned so many things over the years from that man man and um you know he'll go into different languages the italian you know he'll go into certain histories and you know in this particular character that's in 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 um the ninja turtles he reminds me of him you know no spirit just spiritually you know you know he's he you know spiritually you know and um then you got Raphael and uh he reminds me of uh, of Apostle Raka, you know. You know, he he's a he's the he's he's like the more um you know, he's a bit of a high head, you know, in the crew, but he's like, you know, the, the like the warrior class of, 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 of them all, you know. He has more of a warrior spirit, you know, and that's something that I get from Apostle Ricard. I remember, you know, you know, the first time me meeting, you know, Apostle uh, Ricard, man, you know, he, he, I mean, you know, me being around him, like, I, you know, honestly, I was like, you know, I had like, uh, I always, when I'm around the apostles, I have a, a fear and a reverence for him, you know, and, um, you know, I, the first time I met him, I, you know, I remember having that fear and that reverence for him, you know, you know, because he, he, he has a, 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 a spirit like that, that's masculine, very, you know, masculine spirit, man, <laughs> you know, and uh, this particular character, Raphael, he, he reminds me of uh, Apostle Ricard, you know, and then you have um, Michelangelo. You know, which is the um, the one in the you know the orange uh, bandana. He has more of a jovial spirit. You know, he's more you know, you know, uh, lighthearted. You know, and um, you know, jo more jovial. You no, know, jovial is a person that's like you know, you know, uh, happy. You know, that tells jokes sometimes. You know, and just an upbeat spirit, man. And um, you know, he can be serious when he needs to be. But also he, you know, his, you know, he has a, um, you know, kind of like a comic relief to him, you know. And uh, he, his spirit reminds me a lot of uh, Apostle uh, Gabar, uh, no, Apostle Ramlob. I meant to say, Apostle Ramlob. You know, you know, and you know, I remember the first time I met Apostle Ramlob. You know, you know. And um, that's the kind of spirit that Apostle Ron, you know, he could be very serious when he needs to be, but also he, you know, he, you know, he doesn't really take himself too serious to where he can't, you know, have that jovial spirit with you, man. You know, and these are characters that I grew up with as a child. And now I'm growing up and seeing my true saviors that have, um, that the Lord sent to wake me up, man. And it's just a beautiful thing, man. And, and the scripture says, you know, what can you give your father for the things that he's done for you, man? You know, these are, you know, my spiritual fathers, you know, these are our spiritual fathers, us that's in this truth, man. You know? And yeah, these people in this world, they, you know, they, they don't look at these men like the way we look at these men or, or, or the way that the Lord looks at these men, but they will, they will in the kingdom. You, you people that had all this shit to say about our, our leaders, man, which these men have sacrificed everything, you know, just like Paul said, man, I endured all things for the elect's sake, man. These, these men are humble men. They don't care about the shit that, you you people in this world care about man these men can't be bought you understand they've already been bought you know they don't care about jet setting and and all that you know and these men 
they understand that that there's a time and a place for that. And that's you know, in the kingdom, we're gonna be able to explore not only this world, we're gonna be able to explore creation itself, man. You know. So yeah, you know, I know, you know, this uh this video might seem like clickbait or it may seem like I'm being facetious or funny or something, but no, I'm not, man. I'm not at all, man. You know, yeah, I almost feel like crying right now, you know, you know, just these because these were when I was, you know, when these when I was a shorty, man, and, and and this cartoon first came out, man, I was I was in love with these characters, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, I'm like, Mom, I need that fucking cereal. I need the goddamn action figures, man. I was just wooed off the Ninja Turtles, man. I was a Ninja Turtle fan, man. And 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 here I am in the truth, and I'm waking up, and I'm able to filter, you know, the things that I've seen and I've learned, you know, in the world through the spirit, man. You know, and it's just the, the symbolism of it is just amazing, man. You know, man, the water Yahweh Hashem Yahshua for having for giving us those those uh that remnant, man, those true leaders that really care man they that really care man about what they're feeding the flock man that that are not hirelings man because we're sheep man and we're you know you know we're sheep man and we need to be guided the right way man you know and the water how about shimmy outside for sending these men the apostles of elders a great millstone to uh you know, to do that, man, you know, but yeah, this is a little something that has been on my spirit for a while, man. And, you know, I just wanted to put it on wax and, you know, I know how I could come off, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to come off weird or anything, but you know, this, the, you know, the, you know, this was my, these were my heroes when I was a child and the apostles are my heroes now. And, you know, and I'm still, a, and, I, and I'm a child now, you know, I've been in the truth, you know, about 13 years, you know, I'm, I'm a babe in this thing, man. You know, I'm a child and these are my heroes, the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone and all, and, and, the, and the elders, man, the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone and all you brothers that are uh, uh, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, man, you are my heroes, man. You are you are the saviors, man. You know, so this is a little lesson I wanted to do. I hope there was some edification within it, and uh, shalom.